Hey guys, good afternoon, good morning, and or good night, whenever you're finding the time to come back to my channel. I do appreciate you joining me um, in this video. I am going to, this is filling a request of one of my viewers to kind of show you guys, or hopefully in full, show you guys my thought process and how I set up our budget planner. Um, if you guys don't know, I, I've said it before, um, I use a happy planner. Uh, to do our budgeting and our financial planning. Um, when I say our, I mean my husband's and I. And so um, I use a B6 traveler's notebook and a an, uh, ring bound planner for like my everyday carry and our house stuff, but our home planning. But as far as finances, the happy planner works best for me. So I'm gonna just try to show you guys how I set that up, my thought process behind it and how it kind of flows for me and how it's been working great for us and how we were able to accomplish paying off close to $4,000 in two months. So, um, and that we're still eating and driving our cars and not living on the street somewhere. So, uh, of course, you know, this will vary from person to person, household to household with your income and so forth, as far as how much you can pay off your debt and so forth. So don't get caught up in that. I'm just going to show you guys the um, the thought process that goes into how I set up our planner. And I do it fairly easy. I don't have any tricks of the trade. Um, I'm just following what I know to do. So for example, let's go to March. Because March doesn't look that crazy as February and January have looked. So what I do, um, what I'll do be before the month even gets here, what I like to do is go ahead and put a sticker down each day um, or round about the day that a bill is going to come out. And when I say round about the day, because there's not every day that I have a sticker on where money is coming out of the account, but I know that for this pay period and for this pay period, you know, things, uh, these things need to come out of here. And then, you know what I mean? Like, I know this pay period needs to cover these two weeks, um, up into here. Um, and then this pay period is going to cover the next two weeks. So I know how I know that. So I will put a sticker down and I kind of just play with it as far as, you know, mortgage on the first day, car notes first of the month. And then I just arrange everything else to kind of fit around that. Um, I try to stay, you know, out of the great, you know, within the grace period or, um, you know, within a time frame that you're bill collectors are going to give you uh, so you don't accrue any fees. So I put a sticker down for each bill that I know is coming out of the account and that's pretty much it. I just lay them down and that's it. I don't really use my monthly for anything fancy or pretty. I like using my stickers because it brings, it makes me motivated to come back and look at it. But I pretty much just put the stickers down to let me know when bills are coming out. That's pretty much it. Um, I don't do in the column. I may write some notes to myself, things I need to remember throughout the month or highlight things that are going to happen that month. I just make it cute because making it cute to me makes me look at it more. It makes me want to come back to my planner. So I try to combine pretty with functional planning. I know there is like a war. I feel like sometimes in the planning community over, oh, you don't need stickers. You just need a pen and paper. You know what? Let people be. If people like stickers, then let them use stickers. If they don't, and if, I mean, if you work well without stickers, then great. I mean, as long as you're slaying your goals and reaching your goals and doing what you need to do in your household, I mean, who cares? But that's another soap opera. Um, so back to this. Um, so I lay out my stickers for each bill that's going to come out. Um, and what I also do, I create a cheat sheet. So because I'm a lister, what okay, I... Okay, so I also do a cheat sheet. And when I, when I mean cheat sheet, I will pull out a clean sheet of paper. And I will basically at the top... I'm going to use this one. I will... At the top, I will write income. So I know income, can't spell, income at the top. And then I will write out the income that is the paycheck that is going to be here um, with my me and my husband's. And I will write that as the total for income. And then what I will do under that is I will literally write out each bill um, and the amount. So if we have, let's say cell phone, let's just say it's 150 and gas, it's 100. You know, I'm just saying just, general for this video purposes light bill let's say it's a hundred so you know and I would list all the bills so let's say the income is two thousand the bills are equal in three fifty so then I would do two thousand let's say that was all I had coming out and then of course three fifty and then I would just subtract 
the 350 from the 2000. Now, when I do this, I'm also including our our food, our my gas for my car in this. I'm including everything in whatever this what what needs to come out of the income for the two weeks. So whatever is left, okay. So because I can't do math on camera because that makes me nervous. Um, let's say I was going to subtract the two thousand from or 350 from 2000, so 1650. Now let's say within that 350, we've taken care of, um, or within this, we've taken care of our our grocery, our gas, our everything else that needs to come out, like I stated. And let's say that gave me, let's say I'm doing 200 um, for that, and let's say I have 1450 left over. Now mind you, I have taken care of my four walls. I have, we have food, we have our light, we have our gas, we have our mortgage, we have our car payment. Four walls are taken care of. Um, bills are paid for the two weeks. 1450 is what I have left over. 1450. Now, if you want to put like, maybe like a hundred into savings, if that's what you're doing. Okay, so you got 1350 left. I don't know if you're doing any sinking funds. Let's say you got 100 going into sinking funds. So maybe 1250 left. So we have 1250 left out of our paycheck. We've paid the bills for the 2 weeks. We have um like I said protected the four walls, the gas, the light, the mortgage, the car note. We've fed our family. Um, we put money into our savings. We put money into our sinking fund. We have $1250 left. 1250 can now go towards debt. So this is how I do that. Like I said, I will create a cheat sheet. I know what my income is up top. I know the bills that are coming out. And I know what savings and sinking funds, I know where money is going there. And then I know that I have $1,250 to um, put towards debt. Now, some people are not comfortable with the zero-based budget, and that's fine. So let's say you want to leave a cushion of, let's say, $250. So you know you have $1,000 to throw now at debt. And so that's how I would create my debt snowball. Um, and then I would do this for every pay period. And then I would total up my month as to how much money I have left over or how much money I have th thrown towards debt. And as you pay off your debt, your snowball will grow because now you're eliminating that one bill that you have, but you just apply it to the next debt. Um, you know, you go smallest to largest with your debt snowball. You pay off. You don't worry about the, according to Dave Ramsey, you don't worry about the interest rate. You worry about the smallest debt. You list them smallest to largest and you start with that smallest because it creates a momentum where you are able to get excited about, oh my God, I paid off that $200 bill. Okay, I paid off that $400 bill. Okay, and now I paid off that $600 bill. Okay, now I paid off that $3,000 bill. So you see how it, it just keeps growing and you get more and more excited because you're seeing debt actually fall off. Um, versus if you start at the biggest or if you start at the one with the highest interest rate, that can maybe mess with your mind and who knows what may happen. So this is how I set up the monthly. This is how I do my cheat sheet. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and, you know, add some pretty stuff because that's just me to my weekly planner. And then I'll list out my little um, boxes here that let me know what's coming out on what day. Um, and then I have my piggy bank. I have my little gas tank for, um, I mean, my little grocery bag here for food in the gas tank there. And so what I will do is then when I get my, when I get paid, I will do my cash envelopes, which is what I have set up here. So I know my monthly is already set up for the month. I have my cheat sheet that's going to go for my pay period. And then I do a second cheat sheet for the second pay period. I do a cheat sheet for each pay period because I just need that constant reminder of where I am in my planner. So maybe someone doesn't need that. So maybe you don't need the cheat sheet, but I do. I need to write things out. I need to check things off. Um, and so that is how I do that. That's how I set that up. Um, I don't really have anything else in here. I did create some notes for myself. I have the baby steps of Dave Ramsey written in here. I have... Um, how I'm keeping track of my debt snowball. I also have um, just some brained up area there. I have a list of things that are being check marks. I just need to check mark things off. That's just me. I also created this little graph to show where we are. This is our baby step one, baby step 2A, because I broke it down into two. So 2A and 2B. 2B is our um, student loan debt. And just another check sheet, uh, check mark sheet. So that's pretty much how I have it set up. 
Um, and that's pretty much my thought process as to how I go ahead and tackle the month and then how I tackle the weeks um, with my cheat sheet. Um, I do use this paper instead, but just for the filming of this video, I just use a random piece of paper. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I don't really have any tricks as to how this is happening. I just stick with it. I'm constantly in my in my financial planner. It's always with me. Uh, it's like my best friend now because I just I love seeing this stuff just fall off and I don't have to see it again. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helped somebody. I hope this is clear. Um, I know this was a request as to how do you set up this plan or how do you do this? So if there's any more questions, please don't hesitate, guys. I do appreciate the commentary and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.